Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kevin Encrypted, and today we're having a look at Stray Goats, the role-playing musical. Generally, I'm not a big fan of musicals, but this one definitely caught my attention. Think Greek Gods in modern time, the musical. And without much more of an introduction, let's jump right into it. It's one of those games that its playthrough is meant to be different because of the amount of choices you have and how things change. So let's see what it is all about. This game was made on Stalin Ground, we would like to acknowledge... Mm -hmm. This game was also a bit... Okay, so there is a bunch of disclaimers and there are content warnings, so... Be advised. Let's begin. Act 1. Four hours. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma, and where did it get us? Other than... bored? The band wasn't even looking for anything specific. We just wanted change. We wanted to see who was out there, if they'd show up. <laughs> well, they showed up all right. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a dream where this exact thing happened. Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning. Not all of us. Okay, it was just me. I was naked. I think this went better. So I have removed the timing for the choices just so we can contemplate them when necessary. Um... Be worse. In your dream, was the stage on fire? Because otherwise, I find that hard to believe. Whoa, can we do that for our next gig? We are not setting the stage on fire, Brian. Please stop asking. Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? Just to Brian's. I'm, uh, crashing on his couch until I get a new place. What? You said it'd be two days. You know you like having me around. Whatever. Have you heard yourself snore? Hey, Grace, you okay? I know you've been kind of loose ends since you left college. I was just hoping tonight would cheer you up. <laughs> I'm guessing the heart is for a romance option. You're always looking out for me, Freddy. <sighs> well, that's the deal, right? Best friends to the end. <clears throat> right. I just wish it wasn't always so one-sided. Hey, hey, don't... Don't worry about that, really, Grace. You'll get through this. Music is your life, Freddy. You're the drummer, the lyricist. All of this was your idea. I just... I wish I knew where I fit. I think you fit. You know that, right? Yeah. You coming? I'm gonna hang out a bit and lock up. I'll see you at home. So she's our roommate. And our best friend. Like a boat lost at sea With no sails, not a breeze I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. Is the world too much or is it just me? Everything I set upon unravels at my feet Everything I've learned wasted on a girl who doesn't know how to be free Like a boat lost at sea 
With no sails Not a breeze I am drifting cold waters No star to be seen Oh, uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to interrupt, I just... I heard you from outside. Hello, interesting lady. My name's Calliope. You... You have an amazing voice. I hope you know that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm Grace. Are you here for the audition, or...? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. That's not only a lie. <laughs> Let's hear it. Okay. Did you uh, bring an instrument or some music? I kind of bring my music wherever I go. <laughs> All right. Well. With the fire furious, I have burned my tongue. Grief from all the promises Too many dreams unsung All the steps I didn't take And paths proved untrue Is there any path through? Like a boat lost at sea Oh, I'm about to Time to choose our trade. Also, that voice is very easy to recognize from Ashley Johnson. <laughs> so, are we going to be charming, kick-ass, or clever? Charming, this is Grace with soul and charisma. She tries to do the right thing and everyone likes her more for it. Kick-ass in your face, this Grace is very punk rock and not afraid to get reckless and aggressive when it's called for. And clever, sometimes you need to think your way out of a problem, right? This Grace is sneakier, smarter, and witty. She strikes me more of a kick-ass character. So, for this playthrough, we're gonna go with this. Maybe if I paddle hard enough I'll fight the waves, try to be tough Can I belong to the sea? How is she singing our song? Wow. <laughs> what was that? Your song was just so wonderful. I had to finish it with you. I hope that's all right. I also know what it feels like to be lost. To feel as if you have no place to turn. That's why I had to come inside. So we don't have the blue option because we didn't choose clever. Um, hmm. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. That was... I've never experienced anything like that before. I'd be surprised if you had. What was that? It felt like... The music was everywhere, like it was coming from inside me. It always has, Grace. Just as it was when I walked in. May I ask you why you feel so... adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is... just beginning. It would sound stupid. 
Try me. Well... I left school because I didn't feel like I belonged there, but I still haven't found my place. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Shouldn't I have figured this out by now? No. That's not how it works. Those are good questions to ask. I should go. Uh, about the audition. I'm sure everyone will agree you're in, if, if you want to be, that is. I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. Right. See you then. She has a very mellow tone to her, a very mellow feeling. Like, there's some sense of dread. Interesting. Ooh, interesting art. Yes, that's a fridge. <laughs> Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be. What the? Calliope? I didn't know where else. Oh, I'm so sorry, Grace. Well, that happened. So she is bleeding. Uh, mm, what happened? What happened? Who did this? It. It doesn't matter now. I didn't want to do this to you. I. Not like this. I'm so, so sorry. What do you mean? Hey! Calliope! Please, come on. Her essence is coming out. I mean, she has the name of a Greek deity, so... What is that? Yep. Now we are a god. Can you imagine meeting someone, randomly appearing, bleeding, dying in your apartment, and be like, Hi! <laughs> oh, um, I can wait. Take your time. Of course you are Hermes. I... Who are... Is that my door? Technically, it's my door. Or... Our door, maybe? I, um, I came as soon as I could. <laughs> of course, you have like a little subtle. Oh boy. Um, uh, hold on. Who are you? How did you get here? Through the door? I mean, geez, how did you get here? Smartest. <laughs> Is dead, huh? Man. So the course is gonna want to talk to you. Sucks, but you know. The whole what? Ooh. You are gonna tell me what's going on right now. Whoa. Who are you? How did you get here? What is happening? All right, all right. Jeez, let me go. Look, I can see you don't know squat about this, so I'm gonna explain real quick, but then you gotta come with me, okay? When Cal died, you saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? That was her soul. That's what made her a god. A what? It's in you now, which makes you a god. Surprise, right? You with me so far? Cool. Let's go. Thanks for this epiphany. <laughs> of course, it's an office with a great view. Mm-hmm. With a Medusa and a helmet, a Greek helmet. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, Athena's owl. Ooh, and cookies. 
Uh, ooh. Uh, where are we? Sorry to drop you and run, but when an idol dies, there's like a hundred different things I gotta do. There's a no, 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 wait. Where did you bring me? How did we get here? The chorus can explain. Don't touch anything. Okay? Wait! Come back! <sighs> okay. Yeah. Not Just very helpful, friend. Wait here and uh, not touch anything. <laughs> the owl is like, you good? Of course, you're looking at the cookies. <laughs> no. Uh uh. The owl is like, I'm watching you. That's quite the cast. Our beloved sister, the last of the Muses, has passed on to you. Our new sister, delivered to us by dear sweet Hermes. It's, uh, Grace, yes? Um, yes. Oh, my, my. You have had quite the day, haven't you? Why do you sound so... I don't know if smug is the word. I don't like that tone. Someone died in my arms. Where is this? How did I get here? Who are you people? Oh, so many questions. This is my office, and I expect you arrived through one of Hermes's portals. The shiny doorway. <laughs> As for who we are, well, that does require some explanation, I agree. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. This is Apollo, god of prophecy, dressed for the occasion as always. <laughs> the wondrous Aphrodite, goddess of love. And the one glaring at you is Persephone, once queen of the underworld. Together, we are the Chorus. We rule over the idols, our name for the gods who remain. All of us hidden in your modern world okay so we have Apollo looking like a surfer dude excellent we have Aphrodite fulfilling her stereotype and Persephone looking tough this is interesting um wait go to real but gods aren't real they can't be they're just stories myths legends if you're real you'd be all powerful you wouldn't be hiding or... Mm. Don't pay much attention to those old tales about us, Grace. They weren't very true to begin with, and... Well, truth be told, we've diminished since those days. That doesn't mean we're helpless, of course. Far from it. Yet, at the end of the day, we two are just people. Trying to get by. You give so many red flags, Athena. Right, and you live here, not in some city in Europe or a... On top of a mountain? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Once we roamed marble halls, and now, fashionably appointed apartments. We have Wi-Fi. <laughs> we move with the times, Grace. We have to, if we're going to remain hidden and survive. The mortals grow more and more clever with each passing century. Television! <laughs> I do what I must. Mm -hmm. Now your true face is sewing. <laughs> you expect me to believe that gods, sorry, idols, have been living among us for what, thousands of years? You're thousands of years old. Oh no, no, I'm not trying to make you believe anything, not at all. If you'd like to believe this office is right outside your front door, or that we are, I don't know, actors, religious fanatics, by all means, 
The only thing I do need you to grasp is that you are here. This is real, and like it or not, it is happening. Well? Wait, you said, and Hermes said, that I'm a god now too. And an idol. That is true. That, that thing that came out of her that went into me. We call it an Eidolon, the part of Calliope's soul which made her an idol, which now makes you one. Athena, we are wasting time. The reason you're here, Grace, the reason why we made you wait so long while we debated, is because we have rules. Those rules mean we can't admit into our ranks a usurper. <laughs> Never mind a possible murderer. I know this will all come as a shock, and I'm so, so sorry to say it, but I'm afraid you have to die. Shocker. Uh. Die? You don't have that right. What, you think I'm just going to stand here and... Grace, Grace, please stop. No. No, I'm not going to stop. Who do you think you are threatening me like that? Calliope's blood is literally on your hands. That's a good point. It isn't... Oh, she looks so helpless. Maybe we should... We should do as we agreed. Calliope's line would end. Yes, but what other option do we have? Let a usurper remain an idol? Justice has to be done. For Calliope's sake. But... This isn't justice! If you are lost, little girl, this bears explanation. Dear child, please listen. You have usurped a muse. No recourse to be arranged, but it's unfair. I know, but our laws cannot be changed. But she came to me. You must realize there are simple rules. If one of us dies, these rules have been the tools that she. You must know. Us. I didn't do it. Is it weird this isn't song? No. <laughs> that the muse is gone. Now that she's gone. Disagree. Ooh, Sheriff did spoke. <laughs> but it's like, what? Did I hear that correctly? You've been quiet this entire time, Apollo. Why speak up now? I grieve Calliope's loss just as much as the rest of you, but I, I can't let you do this. He's right. What if Grace speaks the truth? What if Calliope chose her? <sighs> And what if Calliope was murdered by her? What if Grace stole her Eidolon? Then we need to find out. Don't you want justice? Oh, Apollo, I thought we'd agreed this was justice. What would you have us do? Hmm. Let me prove myself. I can prove myself. Uh, if you let me. I can try. Why do you look so surprised? We aren't seriously considering this. Oh, very well. This one time. I put a motion before the chorus. Do we allow Grace the right to prove her innocence? Yes. I think so. Yes. <sighs> Fine. 
And there we have it. How do I prove my innocence? Wait, wait I I'm gonna get some help with this, right? Some direction? You say Kalibi chose you. I would like to believe that. I truly would. You have one week to find out what happened, Grace. What happens after a week? There will be a trial. If you cannot provide proof of your innocence by then, oh, our original verdict stands. Right. Okay. Okay? What do you want me to say? I can't possibly do this, this is unfair. You know all that already, right? Good point. So I'll do my best. That's all I've got. We're not going to keep you, Grace. You have much to do. Before you go, however, a few rules. Of course. Do not reveal our existence to the mortal world. This includes mortal authorities that cannot help you. Do not harm another idol. Do not leave the city. Do as the Chorus commands. Otherwise, do whatever you must to find the true killer. If they exist. Oh, that's all? <laughs> Welcome, dear sister. And do help yourself to a cookie. Ah, Finally cookies. That owl. Day one. Chris's apartment. Ooh, okay. How do I check the journal? Come on. Uh, so those are the characters. Freddy. I only call her Farista when I'm visiting her house. Okay, that's her actual name then. Edge of Elysium is her band and inviting me was her idea. So does that build up as we do stuff? Yes, it looks like it. Interesting look. Those sharp eyes of her wanted to gut me and hang me on a clothesline. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I can see that. End of the road. Inherit the legacy of the last muse. Okay. Grace? Nobody. Grace. Uh, hi. 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 You're kidding, right? When I came home, the door was wide open. You weren't answering your phone. Kaz and Brian are still out looking for... Grace. We thought something happened to you. What? Did something happen to you? <laughs> you didn't find a body? Um... They said to not involve the mortals. Well, she'll probably pass it as a joke. Yes, but you are seriously not gonna believe it. Oh, one of those nights, huh? Well, it better be good. I became a god, Freddy. For real. You were gone all night. Why didn't you answer your phone? Okay, so so what exactly are you the god of? Late night lattes? Skipping bad practice? Uh, hi? <laughs> what? Who this? Uh, goddess of smart-ass friends. Smart-ass friends who never stop talking. That sounds perfect. Can I be your high priestess? Oh, we should get some candles for the altar. Hi there. Uh, uh, <laughs> who is this, Grace? Why does he have horns? Because he's fun. <laughs> um. I did tell you about the god thing, Freddy. Well, you got me there. To answer your question, my dear, you see the horns. Because I allow you to see the horns. That's crazy, right? As for who I am, I've been known most often as Pan. So you call me that, if you must call me anything. The trickster Pan god. Pan of the Greek gods, Pan, right? What are you, some kind of cosplayer? 
The days of idols being called gods are well behind us, I'm afraid, but I assure you, I am the real article. I've come to offer our newest idol a helping hand. Or perhaps two. You do look lost, don't you? What do you want, dude? See, what do you get out of it is the question I would normally ask, but... So we can just talk about this, in front of Freddy. Here I thought you'd already informed her of your situation. Yeah, but I don't think she believed me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I don't. Um, should I? Yes. The prohibition is against revealing the idols to the mortal world. She's not the mortal world, is she? She can be trusted, can't she? Why do I have the feeling that I'm going to regret not leaving with Brian and Kaz? Oh, I can guarantee it. <laughs> uh, okay, Freddy. Have a seat. Let's talk. Three hours later. Huh. That's it? Huh? I guess. Do you believe in this, Grace? Well, you kind of had proof. Sure, but I had proof. I traveled through a magical door. Which sounds extra cool. <sighs> I was a little distracted. Well, I have a million questions, but I can ask them later. The important thing is that I am here to support my best friend. Hmm. Do we go with the more of the romance option? What did I ever do to deserve a friend like you? You sat next to me at lunch, period, dummy. Oh, yeah, right. My friendship comes with all sorts of benefits, up to and including the tracking down of supernatural killers. <laughs> Such darling camaraderie. It brings a tear to my eye. It truly does. Speaking of killers... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You wound me, dear lady. <laughs> I've come to offer advice to our newest idol, a foundling who is set adrift most cruelly. Why is everyone so suspicious? So you're here purely for my sake, then? Like a charity case? My dear sweet girl, as far as you're concerned, I am the god of charity cases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're not, are you? Pan was the god of lust and mischief. Doesn't sound too charitable to me. Ah, yes. The old tales of the gods. Such antics, such fantasy. <laughs> Pay them no mind. Mm -hmm. Seems rather convenient you showing up with advice. How did you even know I existed? A little bird told me, if you must know. Very useful, those little birds. He's not going to tell you, Grace. There's not much to tell. Among the idols, news travels swiftly. We are a tiny village of godly busybodies. I heard of your arrival, and I know how obtuse the chorus can be. So here I am. You're welcome. You have definitely an interesting character. You know, you could be the killer, for all I know. Hmm, come to mislead you, perhaps. How fiendishly clever of me. Well called, darling. And maybe even true. Poor, poor Pan! To be eternally maligned and mistrusted, alas, and alas, and alas. <laughs> I doubt there's a line of idols waiting to offer you advice, Grace. But whether you accept mine or not is for you to decide. Devil's bargain. So what is it then for you, buddy? I still don't trust you. Nobody does anything for free. <laughs> now, 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 now. Who said I was doing anything for free? Ah, uh, here we go. I have not, however, asked for anything. As of yet. Right. So you want a blank card. Cool. Okay, I'll bite. What's your advice? I have to admit, I don't really know where to start. Well, I'm not normally one to run amok telling others how to live their lives. But have you considered using your powers? My powers. Music, art, passion. You are the last muse, and all these are now your province. He's loving it. 
Um... When I was talking to Athena and the others, they all started singing. Does that mean... <laughs> that was me? Let me guess. Music swelled as if from nowhere. Lips quivered, souls were laid bare. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, that was you. Interesting okay, part. but how does that help me find Calliope's murderer? Allow me to expedite the process of understanding. Now then, close your eyes. You hear that? It's coming from you. When you sing, what emotion does it summon? Um, I don't know. You open your eyes, you look into the crowd, and you feel... Powerful. Ooh. Grace, you know that you're lost now. You've been given powers you don't understand. I'm the guy who can help you. Of course there is a tree. All that you hear is at your command. Wait. No, it's okay, Freddy. <laughs> this is all me? What do I do? Start singing. Now? <laughs> Why not? Time's a-wasting. Hmm. Try to roll with it. How the hell did you find me? This is the weirdest night I've ever had. And you say I have powers? How could this possibly turn out bad? Am I doing it now? Brilliant. I don't follow. Are those really actual horns? And the singing is so hard to swallow. Can you hear me, Grace? What's going on? Dark too as you're hearing this Like I know that I'm in full control Cause the words and the tunes I feel here in my soul If this is a power, I'm not overthinking it if this was a drink, I'd be drinking it But someone is dead and I'm losing my head Like the goat said This is my time, time to shine This is my time, time to shine be covered in fleece <laughs> and you said someone died here shouldn't we then just call the police Good rhyming, but... can we all loosen up now remember this madness is happening to me this music makes sense to me somehow but pulling me round is not what i need is that gonna be here all the time how dare you you don't know she has to be Pass me some wine Grace, is this how you let strangers speak to me? There's a good chance I could throw the both of you out Still got no idea what all this is about But I don't feel like an amateur wannabe If this is a dream, then it's gonna be my time The time to shine yes. This is my this is time. time The time to shine Next. How about a solo? Grace, are you sure about this? Yes, a solo. Do it. We got time. Now, all of you gonna sing with her. I never knew I had that in me. Who's making this happen? This isn't a game. You don't understand This has all gotten out of hand Nothing for grace will ever be the same That's it, shut up This is a wreck If I had four hands, I'd grab you both by the neck This is my life and it's happening to me If we can't work this out, it's just gonna be my time Time to shine Time for you to decide My time He's taking us both for a ride My time. Time. time I could go it alone Time to shine 
sorry to break it to you, Pan, but I'm not abandoning my best friend. That? That's your choice. Humdrum mortality? How about trusting in those who love her instead of those who want to use her? Oh my, such drama. No matter how you employ it, Grace, this is the power of a muse. Drawing out that which lies within. I trust you can see how that might be useful in your investigation. See, of course I'm gonna choose Freddy. Why would I choose Pan out of all people? <laughs> Doesn't have exactly the best rep. Uh, but I didn't have full control. Sure, but I have to admit, I didn't feel completely in control. Of course not. A song goes where a song goes, Grace. It will only go where it wishes. A muse does not command. She evokes. She elicits. She inspires. Look, Creepo. Grace already told you to take a hike. So she did. Allow me to get to the point, then. For all your powers, you still need a place to begin your search. And this I can provide. An address. In the city. Where Calliope was staying, I do believe. Hmm. Okay, thanks. Her address? Thank you, that's perfect. Thank you. Now this, this I consider a favor. One I hope you'll remember in future dealings. Ah, that's perfect. We can look for clues there. What this Calliope was doing, who her enemies were. I should remind you there is an element of danger. A killer is on the loose, no? No worries, I got this. Oh? Whatever my magical song powers can't handle, I'm sure a boot to the head will. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I need to find Kaz and Brian, just tell them you're okay. If uh, not the other stuff. Then I guess I'll go check this place out on my own. So glad that's settled. I'll let you get to it. I've drinking to resume. Ta-ta. Ta-ta? Really? Mrs. Hideout. And we're still on day one. Good. Uh, no, I don't want this way. Oh, it's open. That's not a good sign. That's a huge house. This is Calliope's apartment? I don't know what I was expecting, but... Not this. Um, hello? Hi. Oh, sure, Grace, good job. <laughs> Just announce to the killer that you're here. I better have a look around. Oh, I get to choose at what I'm looking at. Okay. Well, how do I choose? With a mouse. Let's look at the guitar. Damn, look at that. That's beautiful. How do you even get one of these? Through your magical powers. After Calliope left the audition, where did she go? Did she follow me? Did she come here? Did she paint that? Looks like it belongs in a museum. Who could that be? Interesting. Andy Warhol, yeah, that makes sense. I wonder how many celebrities she knew. Depends how old she is, I guess. I mean, she has a picture of Elvis. I want to believe this is just an ironic photo of Elvis and she wasn't, like, his muse, or... 
I have a feeling she was. Right. These aren't... Do I inherit these as the new muse? Is that even okay to ask? I mean, who would you ask, Athena? A giant harp. Of course there's a giant harp. <laughs> well, need to keep the trademark. So many instruments in here. Did she play all of them? Let's go upstairs. I don't see anything useful down here. Maybe there's something upstairs? Oh man, keep it together, Grace. It's just your average, every day. <gasps> there are oh, only three muses, you know, not nine. Mm -hmm. Whenever they found someone who made something truly masterful or created a new art form, they pass on their idol on. Take a new name. You see, that's how the mortals became confused. They got it wrong. Like they got almost everything about us wrong. Interesting. So there were three instead of nine, and every time they would find someone, they would pass on their idol on. Huh. That's very interesting. What are you doing, sitting here in the dark? What does it look like I'm doing? Uh, preparing your villainous monologue? <laughs> I'm grieving. For a dear friend. If I may ask, how did you find this place? And what are you doing here? Hmm, I need answers. Why do you think? One week to prove my innocence, remember? Yeah, I do remember, yes. This is Calliope's home. Seemed as good a place as any to start. I honestly wish I could help you, Grace. You and Calliope both deserve better. Can you tell me about her? Can you tell me about Calliope? I barely knew her, but she seemed... She was a beautiful soul, if troubled. Troubled? Uh, she thought the idols had lost their way. She argued with us, with all of us, that we needed to change. We hadn't spoken in years. I hadn't seen her home before today. I am. Um, I'd rather not talk about it. You have secrets. This room is a mess. Did you do this? Not this? It was like this when I got here. And you didn't think that was in the least bit strange? I didn't think much of it. I came here to be reminded of Calliope, not to search through her things. That end, it's, uh... It's cleaner than my place. <laughs> well then. So you didn't mess up the room, but someone must have. There could be a clue. Well, nothing that I've seen. All this mess, as you put it, is likely the result of her projects. Her projects? When Clive got an idea in her head, she would obsess over it. Sometimes for months, even years. I don't know what she was involved with lately, but this... Uh, for her, this is nothing. Interesting. I should thank you for, you know... Speaking up for me. It... It wasn't right. What they were doing. It still isn't. I still need help. I'm not disputing that, Grace. I just don't think that I'm the one to help you. Why not? Why can't you help me exactly? Pan said there's no specific rule against it. Y you've already met Pan? How odd. It's not that I'm forbidden to help you, Grace. It's that you don't want my help. Of course I do! You have to know more than me about almost everything! My help will only make things worse. How is that possible? I've been sentenced to death. And without my help, 
you stand a chance of avoiding that fate. Hmm. What? Without my help, you stand a chance to avoid that fate. Why? That's curious. Also, hi Higgs, <laughs> the voice of Troy Baker. Took me a minute. How do I know you are not the killer? So you won't answer my questions. You're sitting here in the dark. You say you're mourning Calliope. What are you insinuating? I don't know you. For all I know, you could be the killer. You came to get rid of evidence, maybe, or, or you knew I was coming and you're here to throw me off. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Is it? The only thing you've said is that I don't want your help, but that's ridiculous? I can't do this. I don't have anywhere else to go. Meaning? Meaning I'm not leaving until you give me something. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't literally life or death. But I need to know what the problem is. Hours time. I, I haven't sung in centuries. According to Pan, I can't force anyone to do anything. Phantom paints from a missing friend Feeding thoughts Thoughts that never end What did I do? What didn't I do? Here she is Only in your head Long gone fights But they're never dead What did I do? Do. What didn't I do? Anytime I'm stuck on what I did and didn't do I just scan the distance for the next thing What is the next thing for you? The next thing often said that too We were statues hiding under sheets collecting dust She burst through the door and shouted next thing Come to the next thing
But you can make a tiny space for something new. certain what you expect me to do. Athena called you the god of prophecy, didn't she? Isn't that telling the future? <laughs> prophecy is the last thing you need, Grace. Interesting. I think the lighthouse was some sort of... Um, what's the word for it? Some sort of metaphor for um, him being lost in his own darkness and looking for the light. And he is also he has also the sun symbol on his chest too. It'd be helpful if you could explain why exactly. This is all new to me, remember? Yes, of course, that's true. It's so easy to forget that. To receive a prophecy is not simply to be told what might happen, it's to be told what will happen. To know a prophecy is to be bound to its outcome. Only in ignorance is one free to choose. That's not exactly true in Greek mythology. But let's see your angle. What? That makes no sense. If you tell me I'm going to fall into a hole... Then you will. No, but I'll just avoid holes. All holes. Any hole. And the act of trying to avoid them is what will make you fall. Worse... Prophecies are never crystal clear. Sometimes you won't understand the full meaning until it's too late. So did he get a prophecy that he doesn't want to reveal? Hmm. Okay, is there anything you can do that isn't prophecy related? Uh, not directly, but... Yes, possibly. Come with me. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Oh boy. Yep, that's definitely messier. This is where you live? Oh, yes. Sometimes. And, and excuse the mess, I... I don't get many visitors. <laughs> no kidding. This really explains why you didn't notice anything at Calliope's apartment. Well, don't hold back on my account, Grace. You said I'm here to meet someone? Ah, yes. Um... Do you know what an oracle is? The one from the Matrix? Or are you talking about the typical Greek oracle? Fortune teller. Like the Oracle of Delphi, yeah. That would be a thing if we were the clever one, but... Someone who tells the future? Not quite. They serve as a channel of sorts for my powers. This allows them to offer insight, knowledge they have no earthly means to possess. There's always been one. Over the ages, no matter where I go, one manages to find me. Meaning there's an oracle here? There is. That sounds ominous. <sighs> what? <laughs> I've brought someone to see you. <laughs> now that's an oracle. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not a magic fortune cookie. Is that what Paul told you? Oracle's my handle. And even if I was the Oracle, I'm certainly not his Oracle. Are you sure? You know what Apollo is, right? Oh, I know what Paul says he is. Just because someone says they can fly does not make them the Tooth Fairy. Look, I'm sure he told you all sorts of nonsense. I use computers. I'm a hacker. That's it! I ask very little of... Oops. Uh, your help here would be appreciated. Okay, so Paul brought you all this way just to see little old me. Um, You keep calling him Paul. You keep saying Paul. Do you mean Apollo? 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Apollo, if that is his real name, says he's a god of prophecy, blah, 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 blah. But you don't believe him. <laughs> believe him? Uh, who'd believe that? <laughs> it's super weird, but he's a decent guy, so he can be Apollo if he wants, but I just can't call him that. So you're an oracle who uses the internet, huh? Like I said, it's my handle, and yeah. It's a sweet setup, huh? Some of it's even legit. The parts I purchased for her, presumably. Bargain for fair and square. And I keep telling you to get me an ethernet cable. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Of course not. <sighs> this is the 21st century, Paul. And your 21st century oracle needs her some download speed, okay? Do you live here? I crash here, yeah. Better here than home. She showed up one day, as the oracles do. Naturally, she is welcome to stay as long as she likes. And see the way he talks? I thought maybe he was a creep at first, but nah. Pause I. <laughs> the highest of praise. He'd be more alright if he did some laundry. <laughs> Tell me, is Apollo always so... Incredibly emo? Like a sack stuffed with sad? <laughs> I am standing right here. Don't get me wrong. It grows on you after a while. Grace, surely this is not what you came for. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, I don't know. It's cute watching you get all flustered. <laughs> it's... Hardly productive, is it? See, there you go again. <laughs> Ugh. Get a room. A different room. Well, let's get down to business. I'm looking for information about someone named Calliope. Can you help? Oh, the lady from that apartment I sent Paul to. Yeah, let me check that out. What did I tell you? I looked it up. You could do the same if you learned to use a computer. Here, hold up, I'll show you. There. The apartment was originally purchased two years ago by a holding company, Core with a K Enterprises. Oh. Oh, I see. That would be... Persephone. Interesting. Persephone is in the one from the chorus. The one who wanted me dead, Persephone. I wasn't aware Persephone and Calliope were friendly. Certainly not friendly enough for Persephone to give Calliope an apartment. The good news is that Persephone is easy to find. I can take you to her if you like. I'm thinking she won't be happy to see me. Persephone is rarely happy to see anyone. Great! We're all done now. Thank you for your help, Oracle. Please, do try to get out from behind your screens at least once today. Perhaps go for a walk. Yeah, yeah, sure, will do. Leave a tip on your way out. <laughs> Apollo is very interesting. That's a very cool looking card. Neon pink. Ah, uh, and of course it's called the Underworld, of course. That's where you would find the Queen of the Dead. Still pretty badass. Welcome to the Underworld. Wow. How have I never heard of this place? Persephone keeps it a secret. While still managing to draw a crowd every night, don't ask me how. Here in the underworld, idols can be themselves. Even if they don't look human. Do you come here often? Oh, no. No, no. Uh, Persephone and I aren't friends. Is she friends with anyone? Not many, no. Except Calliope, apparently. 
I was about to ask if we're to find thing. Persephone in all this, we'll need to split up. Have you considered what you'll say to her? Um, I'll fight her if I have to. All I know is if she's spoiling for a fight, she'll get one. It might come to that, I suppose. You're not going to try to stop me? Sometimes strength is the only thing Persephone respects. You need to be prepared to use your powers, as you did with me. Come find me in the crown if you need anything. Otherwise, be careful, Grace. Noted. Let's, uh... I'll leave Apollo for last. Let's go talk with my friend Pan. So I have Apollo, Eros, Hermes, and Pan. Let's start with Pan. As I live and breathe, if it isn't our dear muse. Hi, Pam. Tell me, have you decided to leave your troubles behind and join us in the land of shadows and revelry? <laughs> I'm guessing it's a total coincidence that I'm running into you here. It must be. The alternative would be that I knew a great many things ahead of time. Well, did you? Do I look like an oracle? I am here to listen to thrilling music and meet delicious people. My tastes are simple. Uh-huh. Speaking of simple tastes, my glass is empty again. The service here is appalling. Uh, I assume you're a regular at this club? And why would you assume that, dear Grace? <laughs> The horns, the... you... Do you know Persephone well? There is no knowing Persephone well. She won't have it. Not anymore. Not anymore? Long ago, we were all very different. Over the span of ages, however, even mountains erode. I should thank you for the address. It's what led me here. No need to thank me. You'll owe me. Remember, how you managed to stir the sun god from his oh-so-tiresome gloom, I cannot imagine. Nicely done. Sun god, interesting. Did you know Apollo would be at that apartment? However would I know something like that? See, you play innocent, but I just don't believe you. <laughs> Flatterer. You are quite the character. The things you say, the things you don't say... You don't make yourself seem trustworthy, you know that? Trust is for the weak and the penniless. Still not helping. Why, Grace? Are you assuming that I, Pan, am some sort of... scoundrel? I think she's saying that out loud. <laughs> Hoping maybe, no, I'm not flirting with Pan, no. It's more that I'm stating it outright. Rejected twice in a row. How will I ever recover from such insult, I ask you? I'll be fine. Uh-huh. I don't know what to tell you, Grace. Even an idol needs to get by. You must know why I'm here, right? Let me guess. You seek our sweet-natured proprietress. Can you help me find her? <laughs> Earlier I wasn't good enough, but now, now, I see how it is. By all means, I'd love to tell Persephone that the source of her rage has intruded on her domain. Don't tell me the big bad Pan is afraid. Seeing as I am neither big nor truly bad, it behooves me to be wary of those who are both. That's awfully sensible for you. You barely know me, my little dumpling. But if I am anything, I am a survivor. I do believe that. <sighs> Suit yourself. I'll find another way. It's for the best. My best, at any rate. Exactly. I should get going. I'm sure I'll see you soon. One can only hope. Mm-hmm. 
Let's go have a chat with uh, Hermes. Whoa, you're here. I mean, you gotta be somewhere, but you're here. Hello, Hermes. <laughs> sorry about running off on you back at the thing. Didn't really have a choice, but eh, sorry anyway. You're not much like the other idols, are you? No? I haven't been an idol very long. Maybe like a year? I lost track. So I'm not the one to ask about the idol stuff. It's all cool, but mostly I do whatever Athena asks. Athena says one day I'll sit on the chorus. <laughs> That'll be sick. Can you imagine me in charge? That wouldn't be you in charge. Wouldn't Athena still be in charge? Exactly. Yeah, you're probably right. That doesn't bother you? Why would it? Athena's the nicest of the bunch. She makes the best cookies. I don't know about the nicest, but sure, the cookies are appealing. When Calliope died, you were right there. Within moments. How did you know? I told you. I got word, so I came. But how did you get word? Look, when an idol dies, I have to be there. So I just know. It's a Hermes thing. Okay. To take the body, clean up the blood, that sort of thing? Oh, that too, yeah. But that's on Athena's orders. To keep the idol secret? Sure. Can you imagine the questions? I don't know how we hide so well as it is. How did you become an idol? You've only been an idol for a year? How did that happen? Mm, probably the same way it did with you. Oh, the old Hermes died in your arms and then they accused you of his murder? No. Well, yes. I mean, no, not like that. But yeah. I was there when he died. We were friends and I was having trouble at home and he helped me out. I miss him. Can I ask how he died? Uh, he didn't want to be here anymore. You mean... I'd rather not talk about it. I'm him now. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Got it. This is probably a stupid question, but... Do you know who might have killed Calliope? Ugh, why would I know anything about that? When you came to... to the apartment... It seemed like you knew her. Oh no, I only met her once. She didn't live with the rest of the idols or hang out with us very much. She seemed nice though. Angry, maybe. But I don't know who'd want to hurt her. It sounds as if she didn't much like the idols. It was more like how you can't stand your family sometimes, even if you still love them. Do you know if Persephone is here? I need to talk to her. <laughs> oh, you're serious. <laughs> Why would you want to talk to Persephone? Nobody ever wants that. One time, I laughed too loud near her, and she threatened to ban me from the club. I don't want to be banned. I like it here. I love how everyone is scared of her. Pull yourself together! Are you gonna let Persephone boss you around forever? Um, maybe? No! You do that, she'll be walking all over you for centuries! You're a god! Yeah! I'm a god! You never know, she might be impressed, right? <laughs> oh, heck yeah! Yeah, let me know when you want to find her. I'll even stand way, way back while you chat. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go have a chat with Eros. Who apparently just came out from a BDSM club. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. You're the new muse, aren't you? Um, I guess I am, yeah. Aphrodite mentioned it. Didn't figure I'd see you here, though. Oh, excuse the manners. Name's Eros, god of sex. I would have never gathered. Hey, did you did you say that you you're the god of sex? Desire, really, or sensuality, attraction. Why? We're expecting a chubby little flying baby with a bow and arrow. <laughs> uh, I, I wasn't. I actually preferred Cupid, but. And had to be the trickster. Spread all those stupid stories. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? It's not your fault. Just another grudge I get to carry around forever. Hey then. The god of sex at a club. Looking for someone? Hmm. Once I might have, sure. Now I'm just here to see it happen. See what happen? Look out there. See all these people. The hope, the anticipation, the connections. They bounce off each other. <laughs> to me, it's like lightning. <laughs> there are worse ways to spend a night out. I used to make it happen, you know. Mortals once begged me to make it happen, to inspire true love. But now, now I only inspire sex. Not the same thing. It's just as well. People should find true love the hard way, or value it more. Good point. You know Aphrodite, right? I only met her the once. <laughs> sure, she's my mother. You know how it is. How would I know? No here, remember? Right, right, yeah, sorry, I wasn't thinking. But you hear a lot of idols talk about each other like that. You know, mother, brother, sister, grandfather. None of us are actually related. We just played a family for so many centuries, it may as well be true. Interesting. So Aphrodite is your mother, but not really. That's right. A long time ago, she took care of me when I needed taken care of. The mortals, they just assumed. Like mortals These do. days, well, it's not like that anymore. We're not as invulnerable as we used to be. Least of all, Aphrodite. You seem a little distracted. Is everything okay? <laughs> of course it is. Sure. Mm, that obvious, huh? Mm-hmm. Truth is, I don't come here that often. No, it's hard to get away. I just want... No, never mind. Would you like to sing a song, sir? I'm willing to listen if you need to talk. I appreciate that. Maybe some other time. Okay. I'll see you around. Count on it. <laughs> All characters are interesting and cool. I like it. Let's go chat with the uh, surfer dude. I thought this would be easier, but it's as if Persephone left instructions to thwart me. Every staff member I approach screams and runs off. I hope your search has been more successful. <laughs> you don't come here often, I'm guessing? Never. I'm sure Persephone only sent the membership as a formality. I doubt she thought I'd ever use it. Don't you ever have fun? No drinking or dancing in Apollo land? Once. When I had the muses to keep me company. Interesting. I'll keep you company. I'm a muse now. I can keep you company. Nothing would make me happier. But you do have a predicament to solve first. It might help if I knew more about Persephone. It couldn't hurt. What would you like to know, exactly? Well, why is everyone scared of I her? thought she was just mad at me, but everyone seems afraid of Persephone. Uh, noticed that, did you? Persephone is angry with everyone, and has been for a very long time. She has her reasons. I can't say she doesn't, but she does not let go of a grudge. A thousand years could pass, and Persephone will remember what you did like it was yesterday. Oof. What's Persephone's story? Her name rings a bell, but I don't... No doubt you've heard the tale of how Hades, Lord of the Underworld, kidnapped a young sweet goddess and made her his wife. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that sweet young goddess was... Persephone. Mm -hmm. Her mother, Demeter, was so enraged, she blanketed the world in ice, rendering it barren and infertile. Zeus was forced to act. He decreed that Persephone would be shared between Demeter and Hades, and thus the matter was resolved. 
Well, you asked. That's her story, as the mortals tell it. Yeah, for six months she would live in the underworld, that's when we have winter, and for six months she would live on the surface of the earth with her mother, that's why we have um, the trees and the flowers bloom. So tell me, how much of Persephone's legend is true? Well, let's see. Um, Hades did kidnap Persephone, that certainly did happen. The idols almost went to war over it until Zeus intervened and ordered Hades and Persephone to wed. That uh, quieted things. At least until Persephone killed Hades. What? <laughs> okay, now that's interesting. Whoa. As I understand it, Hades was not kind to her. I'd like to say we handled it well. That Zeus and the idols were mindful of what Persephone had been through, but that would be a lie. Persephone was punished for the murder, the underworld taken from her, and we all stood by and let it happen. She has never forgiven us, and honestly, I can't blame her. Who is the king of the underworld now? If I were her, I'd be mad at you all too. Then you understand why things are difficult between us. Wait, Persephone killed another idol. Oh, long time ago, yeah. What about all of Athena's rules? Wouldn't Persephone have been, I don't know. Executed? The murder of Hades is probably why we now have that rule. Back then, we heard Persephone had usurped Hades' throne, but we couldn't believe it. It just wasn't done. Now, of course, I look back and think we should have seen it coming. Oh, the benefit of hindsight. Why didn't you see it coming? You're the god of prophecy. When I look, I learned long ago not to. Interesting. So what happened to Persephone after... The murder? She survived, like the rest of us. She got older. And when we came to the new world, I think she would have left us if it was allowed. It isn't, so instead she did as she pleased. She started a cult, became a crime boss. Oh, Interesting what? Resume. It was after <laughs> her last transition, but honestly, I have no insight into anything Persephone does these days. Okay, then. I found someone who will bring me to Persephone. Finally. I'll be right behind you. You're coming with me? But I thought... She seems even angrier with you than she is with me. I... I might be able to mediate. <sighs> we'll see, I guess. Or you will just make it even more... Uh, intense. Okay, let's go talk with, uh, the boss. If you're angry with anyone, Persephone, be angry with me. It was I who... I will deal with you later. I was willing to leave you be, Grace. To wait until your guilt was certain. And yet here you are, in my domain, uninvited. Why? Are you here to beg for mercy? Are you here to challenge me? Should I be afraid? This isn't a challenge, Persephone. I have questions. Questions for me? Good. Because I have questions for you. Do Excellent. you really expect us to believe that Calliope chose you? What's the real story? Did you stumble across her as she lay dying and desperate? Are you an accident? Did you learn what she was? Did you torture her, hold her at the point of death until she agreed to hand over her Eidolon? Persephone, this isn't- You have every reason to try to prove your innocence, Grace. But I have no reason to help you. Interesting. You knew Calliope. We all knew Calliope. She was staying at your apartment. You knew her. 
better than I or anyone else suspected. Are you implying that I had something to do with her death? Prove you didn't. That's how idols work, isn't it? Fight for them! Okay. A lost little girl You shouldn't have come here And I sure ain't in the mood To make new friends Go home, little girl The shadows draw near and you all alone, we both know how this ends Let's see how far she bends, we all know how this ends Hope everyone's having a great night I guess I'm this evening's sacrifice I'll see what I can do You deserve a good show Big hand for your usual MC She's planned a brutal takedown just for me Hopefully I'll last a couple rounds You deserve a good show I won't let you down My, my, we caught a butterfly Such a delicate thing What a find, I hope doesn't mind when we pull off her wings Maybe you don't know who I am Maybe you don't know who I am Wait, you're she the Persephone? Oh boy, a celebrity dissing me Now remind me, P-Jog, my memory Sorry, not about my ancient history Underworld, now that rings a bell Was it you who was married to the king of hell? It's Hazy, Hades, so you're his lady? Before my time, because I'm such a baby Pop quiz, what do you think that this is? Some little poetry slam. Cute rhymes, but you're out of time. Do you know who I am? Maybe you don't know who I am. Please teach me my ABCs. Me, I never featured in Euripides. So where are they now? Wow, well, look around. You're the big cheese of a hole in the ground. Oof. Don't you have any idea what you're dealing with, child? Surprise, surprise, coins on your eyes. Give them to the fairy man. Get it in your little head. You're spitting it. Is anyone here dead? No one? Yeah, that's probably what I would have said. Hey, let's prove that we're alive. Let me hear you. People on my right. Here we go. I really like the crowd. to her why don't I just kill you and wipe the floor with you don't use that word you have to fight to use that word you don't go in and take that's your biggest mistake for Calliope's sake Word 
amused, not use it at all. Not cool, screw you, see it's now your call. Not a kid, but I'm innocent and I can explain. See my sunshine coming at the end of your reign. Say my name, say my name, say my name. Say hey, you lost little girl. I've stolen the show now. A breath of some fresher air, that's enough for them. Is that enough, Persephone? Do we need to go another round? No. No, you've earned your answers. Feels like I'm dealing with a Yakuza boss. <laughs> Calliope came to me years ago. She'd grown tired of arguing with the idols, tired of being branded a troublemaker. She couldn't watch the idols wither away without a fight. I knew how she felt, so I gave her the apartment. So you must know better than anyone what she's been up to. Not exactly. Calliope and I haven't spoken for at least two years. After I heard the news, I went to the apartment and turned it upside down. I had to know the truth. That was you? I didn't find anything. Nothing to say what she had been involved with, or, or gotten into, or who she might have been fighting with. So what now? Do you still think I'm guilty? The jury's still out on whether Calliope chose you, but do I think you killed her? No. If it wasn't Grace, that means someone else was behind Calliope's death. Someone who could keep their involvement hidden. One of us. Mm -hmm. Does it have to be an idol? You thought I killed Calliope. Couldn't it have been some other mortal? Despite how we might look, it's not a simple matter to kill an idol. It was difficult enough to believe you had done it. If another mortal killed her, they somehow escaped detection. We found nothing, no evidence of a battle. You looked? Of course we looked. What do you think was happening while you waited? If Calliope was attacked elsewhere, even magic revealed no trace of it. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say magic? You can battle me through a song in a world of your own creation, and yet magic is beyond belief? <laughs> well, good point. Sure, I just thought... We have our powers just as you have yours. I can grow a field of corn like nobody's business. Some would say our powers are also magic, but... True magic is a different and older power. Hecate's domain. Ooh, we're talking about and it Hecate. was of no use here. We shouldn't rule it out. We haven't tried everything yet. Or Hecate, as it's called in English. Hmm. Did Calliope have any enemies? The way you talk about her, she must have. What? What am I missing? Well, Calliope had a way of making people angry. She could be... argumentative. Yes, but enough to make enemies who wanted her dead? Not that you or I know of, apparently, but that doesn't mean they didn't exist. What about Pan? He showed up at my place out of nowhere, right after I left the chorus. He did what? I have to wonder what his angle is. He has one, that's for certain. Mm -hmm. I've never thought of him as a killer. It would be too... messy. Still, we should consider the idea. For him to show up so quickly is... odd. I don't think it's Pan. I don't think it's Persephone. I don't think it's Athena. Athena would be way too obvious. I think Athena is just the storyteller's way of telling us that 
Maybe it's her, but she's the one who is doing the rules. So it's like a red herring, but too early to tell. Mm. What about Athena? She seemed awfully insistent on declaring me guilty, don't you think? Athena? <laughs> no, Athena follows the rules. Well... Athena has one goal, and one goal only. To protect the idols. And that included Calliope. She'll eventually drive us all mad with her vigilance, but break her own rules? I don't see it. If she's misinformed, it's likely. For all I know, either one of you could have done it, and you're just playing along. Apollo is capable of many things, but lying? Eh, he was never any good at it. Whereas we know how capable you are of murder. Oof. Okay, um, this isn't- The one and only god I killed deserved it. Right! Right! Sorry I brought it up. Couldn't we go to Athena with this? If you've changed your minds and you're both part of the chorus- Athena would be sympathetic, but... The die has been cast. She won't go back on the edict, not without clear evidence. Oh, now you want evidence? She acted on the information she had. If we want to sway her, we need something better. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know the idols. Don't you have any ideas? I told you I wouldn't be of much help, Grace. Did you now? Mm, that's unsurprising. When are you ever of help to anyone but yourself? Says the woman who forced Grace to challenge her rather than answer a simple question. Calliope died, Apollo. Calliope, who came with us all the way from the old world. You think I don't know that? Are you forgetting what the muses meant to me? Hmm. Well, I'm not giving up. That's right. You heard me. Maybe it's easy for you to throw in the towel. <laughs> Why not? Your life isn't at stake. But I'm gonna fight. If I have to kick every ass on Olympus, I am getting through this. <laughs> Calliope, I'm listening now Tell us what end you were doomed to Calliope, blinded by fire One match did you strike that consumed she have done to earn such a fate you are blinded god of the sun hides from his own eyes what would you know about fate when you say that you knew her she was family to us yet you don't hesitate to accuse her oh queen without a throne go bitter with fury not everyone seeks to betray you stop this There's more to seek Apollo, your help is not needed here Go ahead and abandon another muse How could you throw that gauntlet at me? Could your heart shrivel any further? You abandoned me to a, a terrible, terrible fate, fate. You replay your injuries it's till it's too late. late You know how far I've been before I, I snapped This, this is, is not, not about, about you, you. This helps no one! There he is, God of the Sun. He's mine. Aren't you a queen with all that that means? Stop looking for a fight. These old wounds, they distract and blind you. You can't see yourselves. He doesn't know what's important. And you do. Oh. Follow him or stay. I'll go with Apollo. Yeah. That was not my finest moment. <laughs> Persephone will never let this go. 
<laughs> it was impressive. Um What the hell was that? You were one step away from full thunder and lightning. Old habits die hard, especially around my family. That's why I've tried to avoid my fellow idols for so long. I don't like who I am when I'm with them. I know what you mean. I'll be 14 around my parents forever. Try living in their house for a thousand years. Ooh, no thanks. At least coming here was useful. You have a better idea of where to start looking, right? I thought you'd decide that getting me into the underworld was enough. What? Bring you to Persephone and then shrug? Not my problem now? See, if I say isn't that your thing, well, that will piss him off. What I meant to say is... Thank you. Oh, uh... You're welcome. Sorry, I'm not used to... Asking people for help. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. I certainly know that too. Where do we look then? I need to give it some thought. This won't be easy. If another idol is behind this, they know us well. They had a plan. So you don't know where to look next? I need time to sort it out. Just be patient, Grace. I have to ask. Is Athena really not an option? She wouldn't see what you see? At all? I respect Athena. She has dragged us into the modern age, sometimes kicking and screaming. She's why we're alive. But if I said that her need to keep us safe didn't drive her to extremes, I'd be lying. You represent a risk, Grace, to her that is more important than any notion of compassion or justice. I'm not that much of a risk, am I? I won't explode. What's the worst that could happen? The worst is that we could be admitting either a murderer or a usurper into our ranks. How awful. She's protecting an idea as much as a physical reality. It's true. To her, there is no difference. Is there anything I can do in the meantime? Some place I can look? Don't you want to relax? You haven't rested since this began. Relax? Who can relax? I've been sentenced to death, Apollo. Fair point. Even so, go home, Grace. The next time you see me, I'll have a better notion of what to do. <sighs> Fine. But I'm holding you to that. Act 2. Hey, Freddy. Have... Have you been waiting up this whole time? Uh, uh... Yeah? A goat man sends you off into the night. Your life is on the line. And I'm gonna... What? Sleep? What if you were taken prisoner? Kept in a cave by a cyclops? Or, I don't know, turned into a tree? I was worried sick. Love all the references. You were worried about me? Aww. Well, you're my best friend in the whole world, Grace. Plus, you know, what would the band do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, the band. Where are Kaz and Brian, anyway? I told them you were fine, which isn't a lie, because technically you are. Now tell me everything that happened. Huh. Persephone runs a club called The Underworld. That's a little on the nose. I wouldn't suggest saying that to her face. And you ended up siding with Apollo? Lord of the Sun, God of Prophecy? Do you trust him? I'm not sure. I think so. It doesn't seem like he's lying, but he's hard to read. Famous last words. <laughs> Tell me about it. So, what are your options? You need to go back to Apollo's place, right? I could go back to the Underworld. Make sure Persephone isn't taking my decision personally. Oh, and, uh, there's this. Pan left a card, says, come by Olympus. 
I doubt he means the mountain in Greece. <laughs> okay. Uh... That name keeps coming up. The idols live there. Or at least, most of them do. Oh, sounds cool. Even if Pan is there. Still not a fan? You know how some people just set your teeth on edge? That's Pan. I can't help it. But it doesn't matter. I said I'd help, and that's what I'll do. You can count on me, Grace. Thanks, Freddy. The muse? Oh, the embodiment of inspiration. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> and this is day two.